Welcome to Navy Paints. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some ladders and barbed wire to really help make your table come to life. With that, let's crack in. Just going over some items for the build. I've got some different size and shape styrene rods, super glue and a ruler, some skewers and toothpicks. And for the barbed wire, I've used some really soft wire. If you go with a hard wire, it will be pointy and stab your fingers up. Also off camera, I've got a power drill. You can always use a hand drill, but I wouldn't suggest it as at the end, your hands and fingers will be knackered. For the main part of the ladders, I've gone with styrene rods. They're all made the same way. The only difference is the shape of the styrene rod. So I've got some triangle, square and circular rods. Whatever shape you go with, there's no difference in the way you build the ladder. So the first thing to do with the styrene rod is mark out the rungs of the ladder. I've gone with one centimeter for each rung and it's gone along the whole rod putting down these one centimeter marks. And along each of the markings with my drill, I've just put a hole in, trying to keep these holes as straight as possible, but if they were slightly off, I wasn't too worried. With all the holes in, now it's time to cut the ladders to size. For each level of my board, I've gone with two and a half inches, so I've cut the ladders to two and a half and five inches. For the width of the ladders, I didn't measure these. I wanted them to be a little bit random so the size difference wasn't a problem. For this ladder here, for the rungs, I just used a toothpick. I cut the toothpick in half so I could get two rungs per toothpick. I didn't apply any super glue, I dry fitted these into position and I went along the ladder putting these in. This next step here is the hardest part of building these ladders, trying to get this other side onto the rungs. You're going to need some patience and time to do this, but you can just wiggle this on, slowly working your way up the ladder until you've got all the rungs in position. And with my ruler, I just went along the whole ladder, making sure the width was correct. Once I had all the toothpicks in position and I was happy with the width of the ladder, I just used a little bit of super glue on each rung and just went along gluing these into position. With any excess sticking out the side of the ladders, I used my clippers to cut these away and my hobby knife to tidy it up. That's the ladder built. Now it's time to add some battle damage. This is an optional step. You don't have to do this. But again, with my hobby knife and clippers, I've just gone around each ladder, just adding some damage to them. And when I get to painting, these areas will show some nice wear and tear. With a little time and next to no effort, I've got four nice ladders here ready to add to my gaming table. Now onto the barbed wire. This is very easy to make compared to the ladders. The only thing with this, it takes a little bit longer as you got to do each barb one at a time. And also sometimes your fingers may get stuck to the wire due to the super glue, so just be careful with that. So for the wire, I just get three to four strands of the wire, doesn't really matter. String those out to make sure they're the same length. To make the little barb on the wire, I just use an off-cut piece of wire. With the first end, I just have the little barb sitting on the wire. And I just simply wrap this around three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, just depending on how thick you want the barb to be. Once you're done wrapping this around, you're happy with the size. You just simply cut off the end, trim up the little barbs to make sure they're the right length for you. And with a drop of super glue, just glue that down and just work your way down the entire length of the wire. Now I've got a nice long piece of barbed wire completed. I can add this to my terrain, bases, cut it to length, wrap it around things. It's very versatile and because it's made out of the soft metal, it's really easy to manipulate and bend even with the super glue applied. Now it's time to paint the ladders. I totally forgot to record the part where I airbrushed on the two base coats. So I undercoated them with my airbrush using Vallejo's Black with a little flow improver mixed in. And once that had dried, I went over it with Shining Silver from the Army Painter, again through the airbrush. For this first ladder here, I'm gonna do it with Hazard Pattern. So I've gone with Avalon Sunset as a base coat. Applied two coats of this color, letting the first dry before applying the second. This next ladder here is done with Gorgon Hide from the Army Painter, again with two coats. 
With this letter, I'm only painting the rails of the ladder. I'm avoiding the rungs and leaving them silver. For the wooden rungs on these two ladders, I've gone with two different browns. The first is Flat Earth from Vallejo. This required one coat of this colour. The second ladder, I painted these with Monster Brown from the Army Painter. And these required three coats, and this is straight from the pot. On this smaller ladder where I painted the rungs with Monster Brown, it's now time to paint the rails of the ladder. I've done this with Celestra Grey from Citadel. This paint required two coats with no water mixed in. With those basic steps done, now it's time to go back onto the Hazard Stripe ladder. I've applied some electrical tape to the areas where I want to keep the yellow underneath. I applied two coats of the Abaddon Black from Citadel to the areas that aren't taped. Once that had fully dried, I then removed the tape and I had some nice Hazard Stripes. And with these two colours, I just alternated between them until the rungs and the ladder were painted. For the chipping on the ladders, I've applied it to all the metal areas and avoided the wood. This is done with True Copper from the Army Painter. I simply put a little bit of paint onto my sponge, dab most of it off, and using the paint left on the sponge, I just dab this around the model, forming the base coats of the chips. For all the wooden rungs and the ladders, I give these a coat of Agrax Airshade from Citadel. With all the chipping down, now I've come in with rust texture from Vallejo. I've applied this with my brush, and I apply this paint to the areas of the model with the true copper chipping. Also to note, with this colour and any remaining colour, I vary up the amount of water I mix into the paints. Applying different amounts of water to the paint will vary up your results in the end. With that texture applied, now I've given each ladder a coat of oiled earth from Vallejo. This is about a 50-50 mix of the paint and water, and I went over all the ladders, including the wooden areas, with this wash. For a little bit of orange rust on these metal areas, I went with dry rust from the Army Painter. With this colour, I just built up the rust slowly, so letting areas dry and going over them a second or third time. And the last colours to apply to the ladders are Slimy Grime Light and Slimy Grime Dark from Vallejo. Again with these two colours like the rust before, I apply it on very sparingly and slowly build up the colours, alternating between the two greens until I was happy with the result. Painting the barbed wire was super easy and I didn't bother to film this. It was simply undercut the little black, apply shining silver over the top, and then give the entire wire a coat of the rust texture from Vallejo. And with that, the ladders and barbed wire are completed. Thanks for watching Nafi Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.